On the show today, Gerga from Gemart is back and it shows us how to use G-Links to make this lovely, amazing, impactful wall. But also, he tells us how to make this little accessory. He tells us how to make this little accessory, but also shows us how to make this as well. Hello, Greg from Blue Market here, and welcome to BMTV. And as you can see, Gergo is back from Gemma. Gergo, oh, hello. Hi. hi, everyone. Hi, Greg. How are you today? I'm good. Good? Are well, you all right? Yes, yes, I guess. Yeah. Having um, a nice day so far? Oh, yes, of course, of course. What have you been doing? Busy day. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been doing? Because I spend the whole day with you and your team. Okay, it's all right. Always amazing. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. What are you? What's, what's, this oh, is, wow. what, I know, I, what happened here? That's, um, wow. That's, like I, didn't, I didn't see that. <laughs> How did that get there? It's like maybe the snap. I mean, we, uh, 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 seemingly, we don't need that anymore. Yes. Well, today, exactly. you're going to talk about, about these things, aren't you? Exactly. And these are G-Link balloons. So, exactly. And you're going to talk about, very quickly, how you actually, it's very simple to make this, this wall, Although it looks it? complicated, yes, it's really, really simple. So you're going to show us that technique, but exactly. also you're going to show us a technique on how to make something a little Else. bit different, a, yes. bit, a bit of a, a prop that we will introduce to the wall in that gap right there. Exactly. Okay, so that, let's go. So just everything else in balloons, even the f just a simple four balloon clusters, it's made from some, let's call them building blocks, yep. like the simple four balloon clusters. It's almost exactly the same like this, so we're going to create this square pattern just okay. as a building blocks. Okay. okay. So we'll need two G-Links. I have already made two. Okay. Okay. Let's just inflate these. Perfect. Okay. Tie them together just as close as we can. And what size have you inflated those two? Uh, you know, I use uh, time sizing. Okay. But this one is around seven inch right okay. now. Just like that. All right. So that's one, let's call it the building block. Yeah. Okay. So all of this wall is actually made from this, obviously bigger size. And then you just tie the knots together with the next one. Uh, exactly. So I have already one more. All right. But there's one important thing to do. So when you tie them together, if it, the tying is too loose, you're going to have a gap okay. in between these two blocks. So here's my technique. I put my hands through the loops, grab one here, and grab one here. Yeah. So I can make a cross ah, okay. behind these two building blocks and just tie it together as tight as I can. That's really good. It's like there's no... I like that little yeah. secret. That's really good. It's like just pulling through. Yeah, 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 very good. Make a little... So actually, this is how you build this whole giant wall. Just keep repeating this. Pattern. And then you've just attached it to, these are just poles. Exactly, just a base got a, plate. You've got two poles and a base plate. Exactly, it's pretty a sturdy. solid. Yeah, yeah. Sturdy, yes. Yeah. So you don't need any more support, not even a horizontal one. It's still yeah. Yeah. like this. So that is the basis for that. And then you have, you have these here. Well, what are these? Exactly. So then, of course, it's, if this is the effect you want, these diamond shapes yeah it's still you can just leave it good as it yes yeah. maybe maybe i will add some five inch round here just to cover the the tyings yeah but of course you have crosses mm -hmm. and holes yeah. you need to fill all of this okay. with these okay so always start from the hole because you can't put any balloon through here yeah. what you can do is push this and just slide oh i see okay, okay? the next one is yours so I just push it in. Exactly. And then just push it oh, over. It, that's it. Hey. It's clicked. Get me getting involved. Oh, I thought that was it. How do I do it on this one? This is harder because you've got a pole in uh, there. Actually, it's exactly the same. You can just pull, push, that's it. Maybe you can just move it. Okay, so here. Okay. You need to think. Yeah. So it's in there. And just push there. And then, can you Am I going to do you, need, you need to do that sound as well. Okay. So we have one more cross. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that goes there. Oh, my God. No. You know, if I can do it, you can do it. That's true. Oh, that was clever. You just push it in. It's like when you're painting. Up. Okay. Can I, just, can I just push it in? That's the board. Yeah. Oh, oh that's fun. And that's oh, it. that's really good fun. Like Satisfying, that. right? Oh, that looks great. 
it looks really great. I really, and I really enjoy it though. Here's a okay. tip. If you want to make like a pattern or something, you can color all these balloons in different ways. Yeah. So you have like an actual screen like pixels. Yeah. Oh, all right. So you can okay. create logos and shapes. Very cool. So that's a really basic way to use G-Links. These are obviously just normal balloons. Normal round balloons. Um, and then you've got the G-Links that make the structure of the wall. So you could do a really mm -hmm. fast. Is there something missing there, though? Yes, some props. We oh, do. props. Yes. Okay. Well, props. talking of props, you've obviously got this, but this isn't G-Links. This is. No, it's we're not, not going to talk about. They're not going to show this. There's not really much to show, is there? What is that? No, it's just actually just like a balloon column. If I flip it, you can see just a four balloon cluster, like a simple balloon yep. arch or something. It's just I just forced it in this bandit shape and tied it here. All oh, right. See. Okay. And one there, so it just stays. So that is actually just a column, but you've just bent just a it, column. so there's no frame or anything no. in there. No, couldn't be any simpler. And than then that. you've just tied that to to the balloons there. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Because you have like almost an unlimited anchor point yeah. anywhere on the wall. Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. Or you can use glue dots or yeah, tape or whatever. Yeah. That's that's just as easy. Super. Fast. But then you've got this over here, and this is exactly. a, a a lollipop that. Okay, oh, the stick is a bit bent now. Yep, but, it's uh, tied, but I can just wrap oh, it up. Okay. Yep. So actually, this one... This is, looks complicated. Although it looks complicated, it's super simple, just like this. Okay. It's equally the same balloon clusters, like a balloon column. This. But every second line is slightly smaller. Okay. So I can just, you know, just stitch three columns oh, next to each other. Oh, so this is, this is four, this is four, this is four, this is exactly. four. Exactly. It's just four. one just balloon down. column, one in the middle, and one in the right. And, and then you just tie them together with the exactly. necks again. Exactly. And then another little one down at the bottom. It's exactly the same. Otherwise, it's just flat, like a bed or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. so then you just tied that on. Exactly, I'm just grabbing one of the neck of the organic balloon, tying it there, and boom. All right, so very nice, very good. We've got a gap. Exactly. Are you going to show us another technique? So here's a. Uh, Although it looks like another technique, it's not some not something new. Oh, uh, so we have this. But what happens? Just like we did with the balloon columns, we started to play with the size of the balloons. Mm. So here, everything is the same size. Yeah. At the lollipop, every second is slightly smaller. smaller. Yeah. What happens if you do exactly the same thing with this? So what happens when I have a building block like this? So the bottom line is slightly smaller than the previous one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm you guessing it would start to curve. Yes. You guess it right. Hey. Get wow. Me. So you can actually make arch. Yeah. Like an arch. And just tie these together. Okay. With the same technique. Perfect. Just like that. Okay. So we have a nice little arch, but if we put it as a curve okay. or a loop or a circle and tie it together, now you can get a nice little loop, mm -hmm. which is like a cone, is like shrinking from okay. layer to layer. So you could do the, another layer of that, but slightly, or two, two more. Layers. Two more and two more. Smaller. Just as small as you can with the GL, like six inch. These made from uh, 13. Okay. But the G-Lynx is also made in six inch, so yeah, it's yeah. a really small one. You can actually make an ice cream cone. Oh, okay. What else could you make with it? Like a hat? Cupcake. Cupcake. Hat, uh, mushroom. mushroom. You can make it from uh, red. But we can actually make. Ah, look at that. Like an ice cream. It's one, two, three, four, and five layers of this. So one, two, three, four. I think, four. one, two, three, four, five. So how, how did you do the G-Links if you, are these five, are these just normal balloons, this last one? Which one? The last one? No, these, these ones. No, it's exactly the same G-Link. I know, but if you've got two, and then another yeah, two. Yeah, I know, why, why not, it's not six. Because every layer is yeah, exactly. double. Why? It's uh, I mean, the last one is just tied to the 
front. So from here to the center and go there. Oh, I see. Okay. So it's like just okay, one I simple see, layer. I see. Yep. And then just a normal one, just one on its own at the bottom. Just one on the own. Yes. Okay. So it's like a, Very a nice. closing thing. And then we use the sidewall bubble here. Yeah, that's to make like a melting learned before. Yeah. effect. And just I removed one of the big rounds here. Yeah. So I have just a simple balloon from the back. And I'm just tying this to there. That's that's it's it, always it is the ghost, seriously. Yes. Okay, it now the only thing that I can see there that you've not shown us what to do is there's something with the modeling balloons. There. Something with the modeling balloons. So that made sort I of prepared. A, a lattice kind of thing. Exactly. So just to add some details as a actually ice cream cone, I would like to cover the holes and the tines and yeah. everything just to be more, you know, clear. So your whole sculpture going to be more clear at the end. So what I'm doing is just tying these two together. It's quite dangerous working with modeling yes. balloons when you're just standing, you're standing next. It's okay for you, it's quite hard for me. <laughs> it's quite dangerous. Now here's some modeling balloons so you can work. I know, but what am I gonna do? So what you're gonna do is tie this. I'm here. not gonna do, I'm not gonna do stuff. I'm just holding it together. Huh? Let's tie it there. No, I don't like tying. No. <laughs> I'm so happy you're having me. Okay, so. We have doubles from every knot, and we need to do exactly the same triangle shape and goes down to the next knot, just like that. This one, and that's the second one. So you just need to do a twist in one of the balloons, not both of them. Yes. Okay. So this one pinch is there. Okay. And from there, you just go to next, the next one, next. next one, next one, next one, and that's it. That's very cool. It's, and it's really easy. That's easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more complicated than that. No, although it can be confusing sometimes to, to know which goes where. For example, you have two, so it goes at the bottom. Yeah. So always go just one layer lower than you were before. Yeah. Keep on going. Yep, exactly. Like it. All right. Go, go. Thank you very so much you can for make that. So that's with, like with everything you've just learned there, you can you can make this. That's amazing, isn't it? You yes. can make something with such huge impact. I mean, we noticed it even on the cameras when we first um, brought the wall behind here and looked at it on the cameras. It just looks stunning, and the impact that creates when you and relatively quick to do as quick, well. Really quick. So really quick. Yeah. And it used. Uh, just uh, 100 G links to make this side. Really? Is that all? Just 100. And equally the same with the feelings. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Really quick and easy. Well, Gogo, thank you very much for that. Now, as a guest on BMTV, you get to ask everybody the question of the week. What is the question of the week this week? Um, okay, so we, are, we were making lollipops, ice cream. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite chocolate? Favorite chocolate? Hmm? Okay, what's your favorite I know, chocolate? But or sweets. What's your favorite sweet? I'll stick with chocolate. Hmm? Chocolate. Chocolate. I'll stick with chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. What, what is, is your favorite chocolate? <laughs> Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please do and hit the little bell icon. You'll be notified every time we upload a new show. Check us out on Instagram and check us out on TikTok, which is where the fun stuff happens. Stay happy. Stay positive. I'll see you next week. Bye. Any chocolate.